Hey everybody, we are back with another one of our video impact stories celebrating 25 years of ministry. Uh, we are super excited today to have Mackenzie and Kayla join us and they are, well I'll let you tell them how they got connected. Um, but this is, this has been an interview that I've been looking forward to. When we had our, our big list on the board, it's like, oh, that's going to be a fun one right there. Not that some have not been fun, yeah. but this one's a lot. It's personal for yeah. me. So. Um, so we'll start off um, because it's important to know like how you guys got introduced to Lyft in the first place. Yeah. Well, I mean, like both of us, we were in your youth group, obviously. You were. So you were. I- <laughs> So that was kind of like where we obviously met you and like um, the first thing that we did with Lyft was at Breakaway in 20... 2019. 19, 19, yeah. yeah. Where we did, we t- you took the youth group to go yeah. help with the glow party. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we, we put glow tape all over the floor and like... We had a Baymax costume. Yes, oh we had a Baymax yeah. inflatable costume. It was great. Yes. I remember, like, helping out with, like, the spa. I know. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I, was, I, like, snuck over there with a couple of other people. I was painting nails. Nice. Yeah. I just remember, like, that I we did that one event, and I was like, when can we come back? Yeah. 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 Because we went, like, our plan, like, our big project was the glow party. Yes. But yeah. we were there all day long. True. Because we, we did messy did. games. And we didn't too. really oh my know. Gosh. Outside of the glow party, we really didn't know what else. <laughs> we were just like, hey, we're here. Use us however you want. Yeah. And they did, right? Oh, my they gosh. definitely did. <laughs> what do you remember, Mackenzie, about that? Eh? Well, something that you didn't even mention is that, like, the way the youth group was, it was split, like, middle and high school. Yeah. So, like, everyone oh was gosh. together during the day doing, like, the messy games and then, like, just the random activities, like, the spa, yeah. um, coloring and stuff. And Kayla was supposed to go home. Like Wait, the high, so The true. high schoolers were supposed that. to stay for the glow party. Um, but somehow Kayla, like... You we, were a baby. You yeah, were I was, I was an yeah. eighth grader. <laughs> yeah, we convinced Maybe I didn't even keeper. realize. So yeah. Like, well, because I think we... I think we rigged it because it was like, oh, we have to drive together, so we <laughs> said, let us we stay. Yeah. Sure you did. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah. That's cool. So y'all got to do it together, yeah. even though you weren't supposed to. Yes. Dang it. I'm just now realizing that we should have sent you home. <laughs> <laughs> like, this yeah. is news to me. Well, I'm glad you did it. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad that you did it. <laughs> well, I know, like, after, like, messy games and stuff, like, we were, like, coded. That was in, like, that was rough. That was rough. We were, yeah. like, coded in flour. I remember that being an issue. And, like, streamers. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, yeah. our clothes were stained because there was water in streamers. No, but I think we, we encouraged everybody to bring a change of clothes. Oh, yeah. Yes. But we didn't have any place really to clean up. Oh, yeah. So we went over to the bathroom by the pool. The pool bathrooms. Oh, <laughs> like, those have probably never been the same since. No. <laughs> like, hosing ourselves crazy. off outside yeah. with, like, ketchup and mustard and flour. No. And that was crazy. Um, I forgot about the... Um, the messy games that yeah. was the messy games have never been the same since no I think so. we toned them way back yeah they're not gross games <laughs> anymore so that we still do messy but not gross not, yeah, this I was gross. Like, they're a little gross. if i have if i'm in a leadership role we're not gonna do gross i, I just can't <laughs> stomach it myself uh well you mentioned that in that event you're like what can we do more like like yeah. how what else can we do and you guys have like y'all y'all didn't just like oh it was one and done that was cool um do you remember? I do. Do you do you remember the next thing that you guys did? The, it might have been a year later. The virtual dance yeah. party. Yeah, <laughs> when it was like COVID, and we all had like costumes and stuff, and oh. we would do the little dance breaks. Like, yes. Ugh, I don't even remember how they were used in the actual like virtual camp experience. Because we recorded them. Yeah, right? and yeah. then you just like dance break and you just play the video. Because yeah. we were like, we didn't know how. Because you know, one of the things about a dance. Um, if you're alone in your living room, right, not a ton of energy. <laughs> right, and this was a virtual camp, so everybody was isolated in their own living rooms, and we're like, how can we do this to where we, we like kind of bring a group to right. the living rooms? And obviously, we couldn't do that for everybody logging on, so we pre-recorded like all of those <laughs> stupid like, and everybody was, was so in ridiculous funny. costumes. Yes. Man, I'll have to try to find. Um, that would be fun to show. Yeah, insert oh. that. <laughs> we'll insert that B roll. Uh, 
<laughs> maybe trying to find. There were some ridiculous costumes for that, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had so, all of the inflatable. But that wasn't it. We Y'all kept on. You kept on plugging in. Yeah. Uh, and luckily, COVID let go a little bit. Yeah. And we were able to peek our heads, our, our heads back outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were like, you ended this on that to be like the most <laughs> accurate timeline, but yeah. I know, like, you guys continue. And it might have been the next year at camp again. I don't remember. When was the Christmas party? Because I just here remember, yeah. at the office was that also 2020? I remember I went to a Christmas party mm-hmm. and it was that. outside. Yeah, and- it might have been 2021. Maybe. That probably sounds more accurate. Well, because then. That summer, like 2021, that's our first year of like volunteering. That's probably it because 22 and 23, we were at the Huckel's house. Mm -hmm. So before that, we were here. We did like karaoke and everything. We had fires in the parking lot. You remember that? I 100% remember that. I just remember like roasting marshmallows in the parking lot. So it wasn't until 2021 that you guys were back like overnight crew. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. But were both of y'all? Both of us were 2021. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm, 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 piecing together uh, yeah so y'all came as crew uh, yeah. and the crew for those of you that don't know that's our overnight um volunteers that come <laughs> mm-hmm. and you get partnered with a camper uh and you're basically their best friend for the week yeah um <laughs> and i know y'all have had several do you remember your first your of first of course <laughs> oh yeah elizabeth so, murdoch <laughs> oh nice yeah <laughs> Elizabeth and who was yours? Um, Chelsea actually. Yeah, Powers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was in like a group with like actually Chelsea, Elizabeth, and Tammy. We didn't have enough buddies. No. <laughs> so we had to combine, and so yeah, y'all were in a group. And then, what do you remember about that that year? So much. That is like I always say that's the summer like changed my life because mm-hmm. like that I've obviously never done anything like breakaway camp before. Yeah. Um, and then Elizabeth is a very like unique buddy situation because um she is gonna require her own like camp experience um that isn't gonna look like everyone else's because she does like her idea of fun is not a big group activity with all the games and Mm -hmm. like partying and (laughs) you know all of that so that is the year I kind of learned to like step back and like I'm the kind of person that's I want to be in the energy I want to be in the action I'm in the dance party um but as a junior in high school, going to be a senior, I learned that, like, God's not going to always put you in a spot where you need to be in the center of attention. That sometimes yeah. you're going to make more of an impact if you step back and, like, yeah. make that one-on-one connection. Yeah. And, I don't know, that was, like, such a good week for me. I needed it, like, yeah. for mm-hmm. sure. And you think, like, your mindset going in is, like, yeah. this, like, hundreds of people around and it's going to be so great. And it was great. Yeah. It just was different. It's different. Completely yeah. different than probably what your expectations well, were. Well, yeah, because I was going and, like, the only experience I had to break away camp was getting flour dumped on my head and, like, then right. doing a glow-in-the-dark party. In a huge group. In a huge group, yeah. yeah so right. I didn't even know if that was, like, a Elizabeth situation was even possible. So, yeah. But it worked out, like, so well. One of my favorite memories, because we, uh, we did a soap uh, clean game yes. that mm-hmm. year. And I remember I was getting the, the machine and everything set yeah. up early and everybody was still in uh, chapel. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and you were um, riding the golf cart. You rode the golf cart a lot that week. Lots of golf cart. And, and we had the wheelchair that year too, pushing yeah. her around. Yeah, pushing yeah. the golf cart. Yeah. And, um, and y'all were able to come over, just you and her, mm-hmm. in the soap. And, and y'all had a great time. That was so fun. That was so sweet too. Yeah. She loved it. And then, like, people started coming out, and we're like, all right, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. We're back to the golf cart. Yeah. But I was, is, like, that to me is one of my favorite um, just things about Breakaway is that the camp is unique for each person. It is. And if they want to be in the big group and having a crazy time, then that's what they're going to do. But if they want to be by themselves in the soap, then we're um, going to figure out yeah. a way to do that as well. Yeah. And, man, I saw you grow so much that year. Yeah, that was, for sure. That was, because it, it stretched you beyond, it, yeah. like, what you had been stretched before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. for sure. So we fast forward, and then the next year. Yes. Every, y'all have been pretty, pretty much every yeah. year since you were introduced. Pretty much. Y'all didn't come together. No, right? we didn't even go at all. <laughs> you weren't there at all, but you <laughs> no, did show we up. Did show we did show up for That's the, right. like, for the, the talent, talent show. show. We, did the talent we were show. like waiters. <laughs> Yes, I remember that now. Yeah, that made me. It made me sad that you guys couldn't. Come. I was so sad because I started college. It was so, your first year, and yeah. you were starting. You did summer school that first year. Yeah, and then I had my like first internship. internship. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Um, but you couldn't stay away the whole week. No, we just <laughs> we had to come back. 
Yeah, no, like, I think that whole, that, after that summer that we missed it, we're like, there is no way that we're missing this again. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're like, we will do everything in our power to make sure that we're back every year. And so, I feel weird. It's like, and then, and then, and then. Yeah, I know. But last year, which Mm -hmm. would have been 2023, Mm -hmm. you were there. Yes, yeah, we were both there. We were both there. (laughs) Yeah, we were both there. You were both there. Yes. I thought one year one of you came and the other... No, I don't think so. Y'all, it's, and y'all already know this. It took me, guys, <laughs> how many years before I didn't call you the wrong name? Like, I would always Manoj. call Mackenzie Kayla and yeah. Kayla Mackenzie. You noticed for so long, it just kind of... I know. And Stacey and would just... correct you every time. Every <laughs> time. Stacey's so good with, with that. And y'all, I mean, a lot of people think you're twins, but you're not twins. Yeah, no. Um, and you, you really, I mean, you do look alike. But you're pretty easy to tell. I feel like there's like I differences. Should know. <laughs> so, it just I just if one of you is there, I assume both of you are yeah. there. Um, but then Mackenzie, so you had a you took a bigger step <laughs> uh, your your last year with us. Yeah, so. my two camp experiences have been so drastically different, like, yeah. for sure. Um, my like this past summer I had Laura, and like she wanted to do like everything that she possibly could. Um. But we had to make some accommodations sure. for sure. Um, but man, like that was just an experience I yeah. needed. Like I needed to have Laura as my buddy. Like yeah. we just eventually figured out how to communicate with each other yeah. with like some rough sign language happening. And mm-hmm. then I would just kind of figure out some of the stuff that she was trying to say. And then she was understanding me better. And we became like best friends by the end of the week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that was taking on another role of like yeah. not necessarily like – caregiver role but like sure. um just you were, like you were with, definitely yeah, caring for more caring for personal, more personal yeah, yeah just like making sure that we're getting like food in, we're getting like right and then safely getting to all the activities and getting on the jet ski oh, safely and making sure that yeah like for those of you things. laura has laura has cerebral palsy yeah and one of the things we were pretty strategic on our placement with her because what are you going to school for? I'm go- well, I'm going to be a speech therapist. Yeah. So and so yeah. and Laura was with cerebral palsy. Like she can be difficult to understand at times. Yeah. Um, and it's up to us to figure out, you know, how to like, like we don't say Laura speak clearly. Like, <laughs> like we love you, Laura, but we it's all yeah. us, right, to yeah. figure it out. <laughs> and so, like, we figured that would be. Um, because that's going to be your world, right? Yeah. Uh, eventually, and that's what you're going to school for. So, yeah. what about you? I don't even remember who you're. I was with Hannah. <laughs> oh, my God. How could you forget? Hannah. How could you forget that me oh and my Hannah gosh, were the best that's, friends? That was that, that was a I, great. That was the yeah. beginning of a duo. <laughs> that was we are like a dynamic duo now. Yes. I guess. I mean, she. Um, I'm now her. Um, <laughs> I think not. I'm not just. You're camera not a wo- co-host. I'm not camera woman anymore. <laughs> I think I'm like. I think I'm like her producer or something like yeah. that. That makes sense. You're I think a great I'm, producer. I think I'm something along those lines, but I got a title, which is great. So, but during that week, I think it was just really cool because I didn't know exactly like what I was going to do because I remember um, talking with like Nicolette and being like, hey, like, what is like, what maybe what, what would she want to do? And she said, oh, if she doesn't want to do anything, that's fine. And I was like, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe we're doing nothing this week. And yeah. I think it was really interesting because a lot of the things she was like, well, I already did that. But mm-hmm. something that she really wanted to do was make a movie. Like she just, that's all she like wanted. Like a feature film. Like yeah. a feature not film. Just oh, that, not just that. Not just like a video, like a movie. Like yeah. this had to be, this had to be a production. Yeah. And so I think like one of the best things about it was that I was like, oh, okay, we're making a movie, I guess. Yeah. But it was great just how I was like, we were both able to like, she was able to do a lot th- mm-hmm. during that week because it was for the movie. Yeah, everything. everything everything we did was for the movie. Even if she didn't want to do it, yeah. it would be good for the movie. It'd be good so for she's the movie, do so it. she would yeah. do it. And I think it was really interesting because she got to like try so many different things true. that she may not have wanted to. But I thought yeah. that was so cool. And by the end of the week, like um, we had like finished this movie and like <laughs> <laughs> we played it at the talent show. It had all of the yes. songs yes. and had all of the things that she wanted. Credits and everything. Yeah, <laughs> it had everything, and she. And, like, 
I didn't know that it would be so impactful. I thought it was yeah. just like, oh, she, you know, she wanted to make a movie. Like, it's, that's no big deal. I can make a, like, I can yeah. make a video. Yeah. But I think it's something that was really cool was, like, she always went by Hannah Montana. Mm -hmm. But by the end of the week, she was like, well, I don't have to be Hannah Montana anymore. I can just be Hannah. Because this Hannah is famous, too. Because this <laughs> Hannah is yeah. famous. And yeah. I, that made me, like, I was, everyone was crying because it was just yeah. so, like, just a beautiful moment where she, like, because she just had her own thing now. Yeah. yeah. She is the director now. She is the director. She is. And she has a hat. Yeah. And, and a t-shirt and, and like a, a mug and a neon sign. I, <laughs> I got a neon sign in her yeah. room. Yeah. I need to buy some of this merch. I mean, She's I... She's got yeah. merch, apparently. Yeah, so. she does. It's, it's just wonderful. And I just... I think going into that week, I was like, oh, she's been here so many years. Like, this yeah. really isn't going to be, like, that impactful. But even talking with Nicolette, she's like, she hasn't had a buddy in, like, 10 years. So I was like. This, there was a, even yeah. though she had been there for years and years and years, there were so many firsts for her. Yeah. In that, that year, so. I thought it was so wonderful. And I, I loved getting to, like, hang out with Nicolette. Like, I, yeah. I thought that was so. Shout cool. out Nicolette. Shout out Nicolette. <laughs> we, we loved talking, talking in the, um, in their room and just sitting there and just getting to hang out. So I think it was just really cool to. Kind of have both of that side yeah. and just let Nicolette have a break, yeah, <laughs> for like a second. Which any mom, yeah. any mom needs a any break, needs right? A break and, and break away is that, yeah. um, for our parents as yeah. as much as possible. Um, yeah. She just wanted to do everything with Hannah, and I was like, you don't, you can, you can, go you can, you can but, yeah. yeah, you can also just sit in your room for a second yeah. and just have a minute. And I'm sure Hannah was okay, with, yeah, with, Hannah, <laughs> with her mom not being there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah wanted a break. Well, and then, but that was the same year you were, uh, Mackenzie got to see kind of behind the scenes a lot. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> so yes, Mackenzie served as, as our intern, our summer intern. Yeah. Um, and bless you. Like you did so <laughs> many behind the scenes jobs that nobody else wanted to do. Um, but I, and I'll just share that one of the most impactful things behind the scenes um, was the amount of cards, like handwritten oh, cards oh, yeah. <laughs> you did that summer, especially after camp. I know you hand wrote all of crew. Mm -hmm. Did you do all of the families as well? Like yeah, everybody crazy. got a handwritten <laughs> card from Lyft, but it was really from the kids. Just... And you know, like when we're writing cards, sometimes, especially a lot of cards, sometimes you just like going like, yeah. like we're just going in the mode, like, you know, writing yeah. the same thing over and over again. Every card guys was individualized um, wow. from Mackenzie and her hand had to be cramping I don't know if it's recovered yet uh, I haven't written that much since then but but you know Mackenzie like that it, that made an impact on me like watching Aww. your um just your attention to detail and care like it was this card is important for each person yeah. so it was going to be unique to them Mm -hmm. um, and there was stuff specific uh, to each person, so I I really had a huge huge value. Thank you, um, yeah, for that. And I know like that's one of those things that could just get overlooked a lot of times, um, but we like we we see uh, and that made a big difference. Um, y'all, one of the things that I really really admire about y'all is um, you just jump at any opportunity um, <laughs> to jump in, and this. Well, I guess the last couple of semesters, we've started our adult day program, Elevate. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys are away in Gainesville, the yeah. school. So it's like, how can we how can we plug in? And so you guys have been plugging into our adult day program, <laughs> yeah. even from Gainesville. So what have y'all been doing with that? So we've been, um, we've been doing every Friday, we have ASL lessons with the, yeah. with the, I don't want to say class, 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 yeah. class group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's so, it's so fun because like yeah. they're, they always have great questions to ask. Yeah. I've been in part of those and they're asking, I'm, so, I'm impressed with y'all's ASL. Like, like you guys, <laughs> we have to look up some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you say that? <laughs> wow. That is a complex word right there. Uh, <laughs> I had to, we didn't prepare for that one. <laughs> I know. I, I think we're getting some new vocab. They're teaching us some yeah, stuff because sure. I have to look it up. I, I think last week I was I learned what the sign for werewolf was because I know that was a question and I was like, doesn't come across doesn't in everyday come? conversations yeah. but with elevated does but right? now I have it so I think it's so cool that's really cool yeah I mean you can speak on more ASL kind of things because that's kind of where you want to go yeah, yeah I mean I think it was just so cool that that w there was an opportunity there to get to do that because that is something that I want to do in the future is like interpreting yeah. so that kind of stuff so I think it's cool that like I like that both of us that we get to like 
go in there and teach like people ASL because it does help with communication in so many for different sure. ways. For sure. Especially if like I don't I don't know if someone is having a hard time communicating like even with Laura mm-hmm. like yeah. there was just, we needed sign language we needed yeah. sign language yeah. I think it's just so even just finger spelling yeah like yes. with with Laura mm-hmm. it's so cool to just have that and to be able to teach that too is something that I've always nice. really enjoyed yeah. Well, I would like to know, we're going to wrap this thing up here soon, um, but I would love to hear like if you guys have a most impactful moment or or maybe memory. Like mm-hmm. It's just like what, like that's the one you cherish. Um, yeah. Not that there's any that you're just like, ah, that was whatever. <laughs> yeah. But like which one has kind of <laughs> risen to the top? And I know you guys aren't done serving, so mm-hmm. maybe there'll be new ones. Hopefully there will be new ones. But um what do you guys like when you think about your time and volunteering with Lyft? Which ones do you get rise to the top for you? Like so many. It's hard to like filter through. I'm glad like so before we even came here, we're like, okay, we have to narrow some of this down. So we're <laughs> oh not just here like <laughs> sharing every single yeah. thing that we can possibly think of. Um, but I think one of the like moments that will probably like always stick out to me um, was like this past summer. So, like, just finished my first full year at school. Yeah. Um, big transition for me. Sure. Um, and then getting to come back to Breakaway Camp with a place that, that kind of feels like family, kind of feels like home. Um, and for some reason, like, that summer, God was kind of teaching me about, like, the word praise and, like, praising yeah. him and, like, everything that I say and do. And I think it was either during karaoke or, like, the talent show. I think it was the talent show probably. Um, and like I had gone to the bathroom and I was coming back out and they were singing about like praising the Lord and like yeah. everyone's voices were just like singing together and like hands raised and stuff like, man, like that like tugs at your yeah. heartstrings because. And it wasn't know, a worship service. It wasn't. It was, it was, that was not night. during chapel. That was karaoke night. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And it's just so sweet to see like people who have gone, like a lot of them have gone through just so much in yeah. their lives. But, like, the first thought in their mind is, like, praise God. And I think that's just – you can take that away. Like, and that's something that I will always, like, mm-hmm. hold on to and remember. Yeah. So, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So, I, th- I think actually something for me would be um, – I'm kind of between two. Yeah. I think something that's just so impactful for me – I can just say, like, the adults in this ministry are just something that is, like, impacting me so much. I think just – Like the staff. The staff. Kinda, yeah. Is something that has been so impactful for me because, like, you know, including like these are people that, like, they're they have so many other things going on in their lives. They have like work, they have kids, like, just so many things going on, but they still come back to lift. And I think that's something that I have like looked at and I was like, I want to model my life after mm-hmm. these people. Like, these are something like these are people that I want to be more like. And that's just because they look so much like Jesus and they like. I think that's just something that's been so beautiful and something that I've just really taken and it's really impacted me because like there's just so many like good role models to look up to and people who just like just truly care about people around them and just putting others before themselves and I think that I've taken that with me and then between that and like the confidence that Hannah had has taught me so much about how to have confidence on my own I think just her whole character is just so beautiful. Yeah. And I, like, seeing her at camp, like, she knew, like, like, that she was, like, worthy and that she was, like, wanted and, mm-hmm. like, amazing. Because she was and she yeah. is. Yeah. And so I think that was just something that gave me such a good reminder was just that, like, you don't have to pretend to, like, yeah. not want to be there or, like, not that you're not good enough because you are good enough. Yeah. And I, like... I don't know. I saw her like just being the director and doing all these great things. And I kind of thought to myself, like, well, why am I stopping myself from doing all these great things? Because you are like so worthy and so enough Mm -hmm. to do that. And I think that was just something that her boldness and confidence taught me. Yeah. 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 That's good. I I continue to learn that from most of our friends uh, with disability, especially um, in worship. Um, They don't care. Like, Nobody else is raising their hand or dancing right now. I want to dance right now because this is this <laughs> yeah. is a good song, and you dance the good songs, and yeah. nobody's like looking around going, "Well, what are they doing?" No. Um, and so many times, like in neurotypical, you know, worship services, <laughs> you're like, "Well, nobody else is doing it. I'm yeah. probably not going to either." Yeah. Um, we're so easily influenced um, yeah. 
but our friends with disability a lot of times are not. No. Um, <laughs> so, man, we have so much to learn. Um, and if we slow down enough, which you you girls have, <laughs> yeah, um, and and to go into environments teachable, like you can learn so so much, mm-hmm. and that's probably. Like as your youth pastor, former youth pastor, um, and now, you know, friend and, you know, get to lead this other ministry yeah. um, that you guys are so a part of. Like that's been something that I've really admired about both of you and um, is your teachability um, and your and also your flexibility. Uh, <laughs> like no matter, y- y'all have had so many unique experiences mm-hmm. um, and y'all have just rolled with the punches and you're like, okay, yeah. we're doing this now. Okay, we're teaching ASL on Zoom. Yeah. Okay, like like we're, we're Lake Day Halloween party. Yeah, whatever it is, and um, you guys have just been willing to jump in, and I really appreciate that about you. Thank so, you. Well, thank you guys for being a part of these videos, these impact stories. Yes. Um, we look forward to to sharing this with everybody, um, and we look forward to just continuing to tell these amazing stories uh, from the past twenty five years, which is crazy, crazy That's, to think yeah. about. Um, and the amount of lives that have been impacted because of the ministry of Lyft. Uh, you guys are two really, really important ones, but you're just two in like 25 years. Yeah. Like it's crazy um, to go back in the, the timeline of, of Lyft and kind of dig in. So we look forward to telling, um, sharing more stories with you guys. But Kayla, Mackenzie, thank you so much. Did yeah. I just... I, Mackenzie, Kayla. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I was looking at the right people. Yeah, yeah, I was right. <laughs> I love you guys so much and so proud of y'all and go Gators, right? Oh, go Gators.